Mrs. M. from the Upper Darby Library, Sellers Branch Children's Library. Welcome to Craft Club. Today we're making a Valentine heart wreath. This is a sample, just one idea of how you can make your wreath. Everybody's will be a little bit different depending on how you arrange the hearts on the wreath base. But I wanted to just show you a sample and I'll show you the steps a little bit later. Um, if you haven't already picked up your kit of materials, please stop by the library to pick up your kit. In your kit, you'll find some instructions. You'll also find a sheet of pictures of some different Valentine heart wreaths. So it gives you, again, some ideas of how you might want to arrange the hearts. You'll also find two sheets that are um, two copies of the, the wreath base. And then you'll have four sheets of hearts in four different colors. We have red, a, a bright pink, a light pink, and a purple. Each one has three different sizes of hearts, so you'll have a lot of different hearts to cut out and to work with. Um, you'll also have a piece of string that you'll use to make a hanger so that you can hang up your wreath. You'll, um, in addition to what is in your kit, you're also going to need some glue. You can either use a glue stick or you can use just white glue. You'll need some, some scotch tape, and you'll need your scissors. Okay, so um, next we're going to go through the steps, and I'll show you the steps to making your wreath. Our first step is to make the base. So you'll need both copies of the wreath base that are in your packet. And the first step is to cut them out, so use your scissors. And they're the, the ones that have the big circles on them. So you're going to cut out around the outside of the big circle and cut out the middle of the small one. And do that for both of them and you will end up then with two circles like this. And so now our next step is to put them together. We're going to glue them together to make a more stable base for our wreath. So we take one of them and take your glue stick or your white glue and put glue on the top of the one circle. Put a lot of glue on so that it'll hold together well. And then fit the second one right on top. So you'll end up then with a double strength wreath base that will give you a nice sturdy base for the wreath. Then the next step is to cut out your hearts. And I gave you four different colors and there are three different size hearts. Now, you don't have to use them all. You can use whatever you want of them to make your wreath. Um, and then whatever you have left over, if you'd like, you can make some Valentines for your friends and family. So after you've uh, cut out your hearts, this is going to take a little time, so be patient with yourself. You'll end up with a pile of hearts. You'll have three different sizes. So I have a large one and I have medium ones and I have small ones and all different colors. So now we can decide what pattern we want to use on our wreath. And here I'd recommend that you decide, um, work with your design before you start to glue them down because you might look at one and then decide you don't really like that and you wanna try something else. Uh, but one idea would be you could put them side by side on the, on the circle like that and maybe use a little one in between something like that uh, let's see what other color here we go I like to mix up my colors but you don't need to whatever you like like that or if you don't like something like that with them beside each other you can overlap them a little bit and you have lots of hearts, so that will work. And you can do that all around. So, like I said, uh, work with it a little bit and try different patterns until you find what you like. And then take your glue and glue them all down in place. And that's what I did when I made this one. So I got all of my hearts glued down. And so you're finished then with the basic wreath. And the next thing we need to do is make a hanger so that you can hang it up. So you take your piece of string that's in your packet, it's about 12 inches long, fold it in half, like that, and 
the two cut ends, tie a knot in them. Here you might want to get one of your parents or an older sibling to help you if you, if you need a little help tying the knot. So we have that. And then all you're going to do is take a piece of tape and tape it onto the back of your wreath. Put the piece of tape on the back so that it doesn't show. And we have our hanger then. And so we can hang this up. And so, like I said, you can do whatever you like. So hopefully you'll have a pattern that you like. And when you're finished, you have a finished wreath ready to decorate for Valentine's Day. And as I said, any leftover hearts make wonderful Valentines for family and friends. So at this point, you will have finished your Valentine's wreath and be ready to hang it up and decorate with it. Um, I hope you have fun making your wreath. Happy Valentine's Day, everybody.